Opening goal of the game here, just the result of some hard work. Davin Lindsay, first of all, the steal, heads down floor, over to Bennett Drake. He's stopped by Matthew Law, but then it's Lindsay following up, and he's going to score. That is one to nothing for the Green Gales. Two to nothing now before the Ironheads get their first of the night. It's a shot from distance from Shane Takahashi to cut the lead in half. Neil Roberts makes the stop here and behind the back to make sure that that one stays out. At the other end, Matthew Law makes one of his several big stops on the night. 3-2 after one period of play. Second period starts well for the Iron Heads. And James Malloy and Riley Martinell, they both score a pair of goals about two and a half minutes apart. And it's 5-2 for the Iron Heads. Dalton Lundy fires this one down to Davin Lindsay and that goal gets his team within one. They would tie it up and then Ben Pitchforth to Bennett Drake scores to make it 6-5 to five, and the lead is back. That is his hat trick goal. 49 seconds later Riley Palmer goes for a run scores. 7-5 to five. the Green Gales seem to be back in control of this one. Zach Bryant creates some space for himself here and he would score. The Green Gales had 6 goals in just over 5 and a half minutes of play. 4 goals coming from this man Bennett Drake Two of those goals just so happen to be unassisted markers. Let's go to the third period now, and they keep it coming on offense. Brandon Stahl gets his first goal of these playoffs. Fifth and final goal of the night for Bennett Drake right there, and the body language from Matthew Law says it all. This is a game the Ironheads were in, but it seems to be all slipping away. Matt Fountain scores his team's Final goal of the night, 13 to 9 at that point, and that would be the final as the Green Gales take game one of this series. And they do so without the usual contributions of Dylan Goddard and Luke Laskowitz. It's a good sign showing the team can win in more the ways than one. I think that was just a textbook playoff game. Two teams that come out hard, one team that, you know, obviously being eighth against the first place team, the eighth place team has to show up and go hard or else they know that their uh, their life's going to be pretty short. I don't think that we necessarily came out slow, I just thought we, we didn't execute on the end of our plays. We did well in the first part of them, got to the net and we just couldn't score, but we got better as the game went on and that's all we can ask for. I think I started off slow and then just, uh, you know, took advantage of those opportunities and, you know, just started clicking, ball started going the net, you know, shooting hard and just working working with the guys right I mean they weren't they the second face-off goal there the two guys on the line set a great seal and I could just run right down the middle and it was wide open for me it's not much doesn't get much easier than that so I give a lot of credit to the guys on the line too on those face-offs 